Welcome back to Tally Ho Vacations. This is Roger Carlson, and I'm here with Bruce Waters. Uh, he's uh, with uh, Scenic Cruises, uh, European Cruise Line, and he's going to tell you about all the great cruises that you can take in Europe. Roger, it's great to be back as usual. I enjoy it here. Well, wonderful. You know, I guess <coughs> European river cruising is really booming. Uh, there's a lot of cruise lines out there, but I think Scenic Cruise Lines is one of the best, isn't it? Well, it's a great choice, and, uh, and you're right. European river cruising, really, over the past uh, five years or so in particular, has really just boomed. It's become the cruise industry's fastest growing segment, so more and more folks are, are considering and taking European river cruising, so it's become very popular. And um, Scenic is actually one of six companies that, that competes for the European river cruise passenger. But, you know, we're happy to say that we have a wonderful premium product and uh, beautiful vessels and some magnificent itineraries through Europe. So it's a, it's a great choice. And I think a lot of our passengers, actually, we find are folks that have done big ship cruising. You know, they've sailed the Caribbean. Maybe they've done Alaska. They, they may have sailed Europe by big ship. But the nice feature with European river cruising is that, you know, we're naturally sailing really through the heartland of Europe. When you kind of look at the map and see where we go, we're sailing through the heartland of Europe versus big ship cruising that naturally sails the coast. So we're getting the chance to see all these wonderful, beautiful new cities uh, throughout Europe and do it really in a different way, which is on board a European river cruise ship vessel uh, versus one of the big ships. Well, you know, uh, one thing I see about it is that on the river cruise, you always look, have something to see. There's scenery or there's a new city along the way. But when you're on those large ocean liners, while you're out in the middle of the ocean, there's not much to see. Well, it's actually true because with, uh, you know, with European river cruising, one of the features that I think many passengers enjoy about them would be that we, uh, you know, we're sailing the rivers and therefore you've got scenery for the entire seven days or 14 days of your journey. Uh, there are no days at sea. You're on a river every day. So you've literally always got something 30 feet off the, off the side of the vessel is another city, another uh, beautiful valley, another part of Europe. So it's really wonderful. Uh, you have several ships that uh, travel Europe and other places. Uh... Well, we do. This is a, uh, actually Scenic Cruises is a large company. We now have eight vessels and they're beautiful, uh, beautiful vessels. Uh, all identical. We've built all of our ships to be the same size and same uh, same onboard features, so not one is different than the next. Uh, that way, regardless of what ship you're on with Scenic, they're all the same. They're offering the, they're all offering the same wonderful amenities and features. Uh, we actually, as a company, we were the really the pioneer of of creating the the longest the longest ships in European river cruising. Because strangely enough, when you want to build a big ship in European river cruising, uh, you can't go too wide because you'll get stuck in a in a in a lock, right? And you can't go too high because you might hit a bridge. You can only go with three decks. So if you want to build a big ship in European river cruising, you do it one way, and that's building it long. So we actually were the pioneer uh, of building these, the longest vessels in Europe at 444 feet long. Uh, so that's a nice, unique feature for us. But uh, by having these big vessels, it then meant we could build our vessels to include some really unusual features that most European river cruise vessels do not offer. So our, our ships, for example, include full balconies, full balconies. And uh, many of our competitors have what they call a French balcony. And I think we're seeing actually a picture here right now of our full balcony cabins. So it's a wonderful experience, uh, two dining rooms on board ship, two show lounges, so a lot of great choices. What is the difference, though, between a French balcony and a full balcony, you know? So people really know what you're talking about there. Well, I think, you know, for a lot of us, especially folks that have <clears throat> sailed big ships and they've had a full balcony cabin on board one of the big cruise ships, uh, they're really expecting to kind of open the door and walk out onto your private balcony, right, and have a seat and enjoy a cup of coffee or a glass of wine at night and watch Europe pass by. That's kind of what we're, what we're picturing a full balcony cabin to be. Interestingly enough, uh, ships that feature what they call a French balcony uh, is actually really a, a window that opens with no balcony. So that's, uh, that, that's what a French balcony is. So, Having that full balcony experience naturally is really a wonderful feature, and quite frankly, it's what what most of us would really picture a balcony to be in the first place. So you're, you're actually walking. sitting you, out there. You're, that's exactly right. You walk onto that. Yeah. You can't get out. You just got a window that you're looking out. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been hearing about uh, scenic cruise lines that you guys are really all inclusive now. So can you can explain about what is covered in a typical? Well, 
scenic cruise? Yeah, with scenic, what we've really done is we've kind of taken the concept of European river cruising, looking at our competitors, and creating a, a program that, that, quite frankly, is mo much more inclusive and includes features that many of our competitors' pricing does not. So, for example, with scenic, we include all of your tipping included in the fare. So that means, you know, your shipboard tipping, waiters, busboys, room stewards, maitre d's, included in the price you've paid. But that even includes all of your shoreside tipping because, you know, with the average cruise with us, let's say it's 15 days, you've got 14 ports of call, every day a port of call. So with us, you're not having to tip bus drivers and tour guides, or normally you actually should be. So we've included all tipping into the fare. But then next year, we've actually uh, taken a big step. Uh, next year's voyages uh, will be open bar the entire voyage. Our competitors tend to offer beer, wine, and soda for lunch and dinner. We do open bar the entire voyage, so it's a nice feature. And a very unique feature for us, which is and also very important for the passenger, we include every shore excursion, including the optional tours. And the optional tours are really what the industry kind of considers to be its premium shore excursions. And very often, those are purchased uh, with Scenic they're all included. So not one shore excursion <clears throat> is purchased. They're all included. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then next year even, we'll have uh, butler service in every cabin. Top to bottom, every cabin, every category mm -hmm. will include full butler service. So really a wonderful feature it really and all included. Wonderful. It really sounds wonderful. You know, in this business about all inclusive and everything covered, I mean, at the end of the cruise, you don't have to worry about when going up to the purser and having to pay a big bill, everything has been paid uh, in advance, so that's great. Well, and it, you know, I think for a lot of folks, that especially folks that have cruised before, and they can, they can kind of picture that scenario of at the end of their typical voyage, they're now kind of staring at their onboard charge account bill and seeing the, the shore excursions they've purchased and the tipping has been added on and the uh, drinks and so forth. You know, that, that sometimes has sticker shock. And it's nice to just have those features included in the price so that it's not an issue later on. Uh, what are some of the itineraries that you uh, cover in Europe? You know, with European river cruising, there's such a great variety of things to see and do. Uh, with Scenic, we offer uh, both seven nights, uh, 15, uh, 14 night sailings, as well as some bigger voyages that, that can go as high as 30 days. But, you know, generally speaking, with European river cruising, you've got seven night sailings that might do uh, tulip time through the Netherlands. Uh, you've got seven night sailings that sail between Budapest and Nuremberg, and then you've got our big 15-day cruise, which is certainly our most popular, sailing between Budapest and Amsterdam, and that's all three rivers. I think uh, Telling Hell has one next year at this time. Uh in uh, October? They do. October 28th, they've got a group with us, so contact Tally Ho for more questions about that group departure. Well, we're going to have to wrap up, Bruce. I think our time has ended for this session. So, anyway, uh, folks, stay tuned uh, for Tally Ho Vacations, and uh, this is going to run in October here, so uh, uh, give us a call, and uh, we'll get you booked on a scenic cruise. Great. Roger, thank you.